Dear children, today we will learn means of transport in this video, so, let's start the video. There are three means of transport, 1. Land or road transport, 2. Water transport, 3. Air transport, so, let's discuss one by one. 1. Land or road transport, road transport can be classified as transporting either goods and materials or transporting people. The major advantage of road transport is that it can enable door-to-door -door delivery of goods and materials and can provide a very cost-effective means of cartage, loading and unloading. Sometimes road transport is the only way for carrying goods and people to and from rural areas which are not catered to by rail, water, or air transport. Delivery of goods between cities, towns, and small villages is made possible only through road transport. Few are examples of road transports are Bicycle. This is a bicycle. Car. This is a car. Bus. This is a bus. Truck. This is a truck. Scooter. This is a scooter. Motorcycle. This is a motorcycle. Tractor. This is a tractor. Train. This is a train. Metro train. This is a metro train. Auto rickshaw. This is an auto rickshaw. Hand rickshaw. This is a hand rickshaw. Ambulance. This is an ambulance. Van. This is a van. Jeep. This is a Jeep. Fire van. This is a fire van. Bullock cart. This is a bullock cart. Cart horse. This is a cart horse. 2. Water transport. Water transport is the cheapest and the oldest mode of transport. It operates on a natural track and hence does not require huge capital investment in the construction and maintenance of its track except in case of canals. The cost of operation of water transport is also very less. It has the largest carrying capacity and is most suitable for carrying bulky goods over long distances. It has played a very significant role in bringing different parts of the world closer and is indispensable to foreign trade. Few are examples of water transports are Ship This is a ship Water boat this is a water boat. Ferry. This is a ferry. Now, let's come to air transport. 3. Air transport. Air transportation has become the primary means of common carrier traveling. Greatest efficiency and value are obtained when long distances are traveled, high value payloads are moved, immediate needs must be met or surface terrain prevents easy movement or significantly raises transport costs. Although the time and cost efficiencies obtained decrease as distance traveled is reduced, air transport is often worthwhile even for relatively short distances. Air transportation also provides a communication or medical link, which is sometimes vital, between the different groups of people being served. Few are examples of air transports are
Aeroplane. This is an aeroplane. Helicopter. This is a helicopter. Jet plane. This is a jet plane. Paragliding. This is a paragliding. Air balloon. This is an air balloon. For more video, like, share, and thanks subscribe. You.